Hey guys, it's me, Minatsuki Man. Welcome to Mobile Suit Controls. I think you guys have been waiting long enough, so let's go ahead and get started. Welcome to the cockpit of the RX-78-2 Gundam. In front of you, you're going to see four monitors. One in the center, the left, the right, and the top. Essentially, this is a composite view of all the cameras mounted in the head. These aren't the only cameras mounted on the Gundam. As a matter of fact, there's a total number of about 12 cameras mounted throughout the entire mobile suit's body. And between the top and the center screens are the communication monitors. These are primarily used to facilitate direct communication with personnel. Next are the control stick panels. These panels serve as multiple features. The first of these features is the control stick magnitude, which is designated by a row of glowing indicators. In addition to that, these panels also show what mode you're operating in. But I'll get to that a little bit later. And then we have the left control stick. This controls the yaw or horizontal vector of your mobile suit's direction. Then there's a the right control stick. This controls the pitch or vertical direction of your mobile suit's magnitude. But again, I'll get into that a little bit later. All right, enough of that. Let's turn this big guy on. Flip on that main power switch. All right, it looks like you're on. Energy is loading up just fine. This is where all the power from your main weapon is stored. It actually derives from the mobile suit's reactor and is transferred through to the weapon itself. Once you're out of energy, you're out of luck. Engage the optical scan, so your mobile suit can get a sense of the environment around you. Alright, it looks like there are two items that your mobile suit's ready to equip with. Press the option switch button right above the thumb trigger, and push your right control stick forward. This will tell your mobile suit to use its right arm to grab the items next to it. Since your mobile suit's a very intelligent machine, it also knows to grab the shield next to it as well. The control sticks can operate the limbs of your mobile suit in special situations. Use your control stick buttons to set your mobile suit to maneuver mode. Next are the pedals. We've got the left, which is the reverse brake, the middle, which controls descent, and right, which controls thrust operations. Now that you've done that, all you need to do is press the right pedal slowly to move your mobile suit forward. Pretty easy, huh? You can do it. Seriously, watch out for those kids, it's been a problem. Alright, let's get you ready to launch. You can step up to the camera ah. once the doors have cleared and opened up. But, before doing that, we definitely want to go through your pre-launch checklist. Now, the mobile suit will typically go through these operations on its own, but it's a good idea to go through it manually, just in case. If during your pre-launch or the warning goes off, now's the time to take care of it. Hey, okay. What do you mean, launch authorization? A ship's captain must be able to approve all mobile suit deployment requests. From the ship's captain? Yeah, you heard the beach ball. Ask for permission. Alright, can we launch? Oh, by the way, the catapult's been clear the whole time. Then you get out of here. Alright. Your mobile suit will require a significant amount of fuel for takeoff, upper towards 10% of its full capacity. This means that managing your thrust consumption will be extremely crucial, especially for combat. But don't worry, we are in neutral territory. Alright, now let's make sure your thrusters are set to idle. Then, let's set your field of launch consumption. This will make sure that when you press the pedal down, you'll use your maximum amount of energy to get off the catapult. Once everything is ready, then we can initiate the countdown. As soon as it hits zero, you press down on the right pedal to launch off the catapult. Ready? Let's do it! Oh yeah, do yourself a favor and resist the urge to scream out launch when you take off on the catapult. Unless you want to bite your tongue off. You're going to be taking off at over 120 kilometers per second. Set off your countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. sticks in front of you operate the vector directions of your suit.
The left stick operates your mobile suit, Zion, and the right operates the magnitude of the pitch direction. Roll features are built into the sticks as well, but they are not primary maneuver controls. Press the middle finger button, called the secondary option button, to cycle through available targets. With simultaneous switches, the sticks can be utilized to control the deeper functions of your suit, including limb controls. Your pedals function to maneuver the position of your suit in operation space. Your right foot pedal will engage the suit's thrust, and your left foot will operate as a reverse brake feature. Pressing both pedals together will raise your altitude, and the middle one will descend your mobile suit downward. Alright, how about I get you over here? I'm going to emit a guy beacon so that your mobile suit can find me. This is an open channel signal that allows your mobile suit to lock onto my position. Once you've locked onto my guide beacon, then all you'll need to do is just press your right pedal to maneuver towards me. Go ahead and do it. Alright. Good job. Now as complicated as you got. Enemy alert! Uh-oh. Our warning indicators are going off. Hey, idiot! Don't deploy the guide beacon. Do you want to get killed? Now we got a Xeon carrier fleet up our rear, thanks to you. A guide beacon utilizes your mobile suit's Minowski particle emitter to produce a concentrated signal, allowing sensors to easily find you, both enemy and friendlies alike. Oh no, I, 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 I got this. Is this is on me? I, I really mess up this one. Okay, we have no choice but to take them on. <laughs> Switch from maneuver to combat mode. <laughs> There's the enemy, a Moosite-class cruiser. We'll have to disable its main weapons. Yeah, but first, get out of its main line of fire. Maneuver over to its left flank and attack it from there. Okay, okay, I heard you the first time. Your mobile suit can outrun the main cannon's rotation speed, so you'll have your best luck if you hit it from the port side. And don't screw it up any further. Walking on. The Alexander is trying to outmaneuver these Moosites. Damn, I missed. The distance is too far. Use your targeting visor to get a clean shot. Your targeting visor allows you to manually aim to take shots. This is a good alternative if you can't get a clean walk onto an enemy. Using your control stick shot features will allow you to perform precision aim attacks using the aid of your targeting visor. Particle cannons. Nice moves. Now, let's do the same for the other Musai. I never really thought about this, but maybe being a mobile suit pilot might not be a bad career move for me. I can kind of get used to it. Oh my god! It, it's a Zaku! I We're done for! I should have never let you guys leave this ship. I never thought I'd say this, but I am glad to see you right now. Why? Because you know you'd be a pile of hamburger if it wasn't for me? Ugh, I take it back. Sage went dropped, but there's still a quite large fleet behind you, and it doesn't look like they're retreating. I suggest that you shape up on the double. If we don't do anything now, that goal is just gonna crush us in the dust. Well, that's why we have to get to it first. Are you blind? Green mobile suits can't destroy it, Dolos. Not unless we do it from the inside. Someone just left the side door open. Someone left the side door open? What do you even mean? Oh. Oh, yeah, you're right. Somebody did leave the door open. Alright, let's do it. Data acquisition complete on the Dolos carrier. Layout schematics are now available. Alright, Haro. Load up all the data that you have for the Dolos. We can use that data to track through and find where that reactor is. Roger that. Updated flight path is being calculated to assemble waypoints accessible by mobile suit to access the Dolos Carrier's Minowski Compact Nuclear Reactor Chamber. The chamber is just at the end of this shaft. Be warned. 
The highly volatile reactor must not incur damage, or an explosive chain reaction will cause a delayed nuclear meltdown within the carrier, destroying it from the inside. It is preferable to shut down the reactor by removing its ability to regulate its temperature. Detaching the main coolant cable from the reactor's core will disable all power to the carrier. This will cause the carrier to back out and operate on its backup generator, which doesn't support catapults and weaponry, allowing us to escape unharmed. The reactor is just ahead of you. Oh my god. Haro, what did you do? Haro, you done goofed. My bad. That's a lot of zombies. <laughs> Not all is lost. I've collected and analyzed your nearby sensor readings for Minowski particle densities, and it looks like there's a large concentration not too far from where you currently are. Navigate to the end of the corridor. Wait, enemies are approaching. They must have used the carrier's Minowski reactor to mask their positions. It appears they want to contact an effort to provide surrender terms. Of course, we got them suits are better captured than destroyed. Surrender is! Surrender? Yeah, right. All three Goku suits are down. The reactor chamber might be open, which is why the Minowski density is so high. There he is! Okay, all you'll have to do is fly towards it carefully. Then, you can sever the cables from there. The reactor cable is housed within the super hard steel alloy hull, which is comprised of the same type of metal utilized for the Zaku 2's armor. <laughs> Oh, God. 